Robert Olson was a talented painter who lived in a small town in Wales. He had always been fascinated by the local folklore and superstitions, and he often found himself drawn to the stories of the supernatural that seemed to permeate every corner of the countryside. One day, Robert heard about the death of a local shopkeeper, and he was determined to find out what had happened. He began to investigate, asking questions and piecing together the clues. As he delved deeper into the mystery, he learned about a legend that had been circulating throughout Wales for many years. A legend about a cursed, warped kettle that had the power to bring death to anyone who used it. The legend went that anyone who used the kettle would have exactly 90 days left to live. These doomed individuals would appear perfectly normal during their day-to-day -day lives, but when they were photographed, they would appear pickled and gerbil-like in appearance. They would also feel like a silver gerbil to touch. Despite the superstition surrounding the kettle, Robert was determined to get his hands on it. He refused to believe that it was truly cursed, and he set out to prove that the legend was nothing more than a baseless myth. As soon as he got hold of the kettle, strange visions began to flash through his mind. A cozy snake balancing on a picturesque shopkeeper, an old newspaper headline about a catapulting accident, a hooded badger ranting about thighs, and a drinking well located in a beautiful place. Robert was startled by the visions, but he still refused to believe that the curse was real. It was only when he noticed that his lips had taken on a gerbil-like appearance that he began to suspect that the legend might be true after all. Determined to get to the bottom of the mystery, Robert called in his niece, Georgina Fish, to help him. Georgina was a talented author with a keen eye for detail, and she was more than happy to assist her uncle in his quest for the truth. Together, Robert and Georgina examined the kettle, and Georgina willingly subjected herself to the curse in order to see what would happen. She, too, experienced the strange visions that had plagued Robert, and she found the image of the cozy snake particularly chilling. With their time running out, Robert and Georgina set out on a quest to uncover the meaning of the visions. They began by searching for the hidden badger, hoping that this would lead them to the truth about the cursed kettle. As they traveled through Wales, they encountered all manner of strange and mysterious creatures, each one adding another piece to the puzzle. They were determined to stop the curse before their time was up, and they worked tirelessly to uncover the secrets of the warped kettle. In the end, they were successful in their quest, and they were able to break the curse that had been plaguing Wales for so many years. With the kettle finally destroyed, Robert and Georgina returned home, hailed as heroes for their bravery and determination in the face of the supernatural.